Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk if the Quest 2 case is worth $50. It's rather expensive at $50. That's almost 17% of the $300 Quest 2. So is it worth it? Let's find out. My initial impression of this when I first unboxed it was this is rather big. Now I understand why it needs to be big. It needs to accommodate the larger elite strap. I've been using the Velcro strap and for me personally that has been fantastic. I've been using that quite a lot. No need to upgrade to the elite strap. So it does feel really big. However, I think you do get used to it. Another thing I immediately noticed with the case was that when you knock on it, it feels extremely hard. So it definitely is gonna protect your case. We'll talk more about the protective design a little bit later. So in terms of the texture, how it feels and the design, I have to say it feels pretty good in the hands. Obviously it's solid, but as you touch it, it feels kind of soft and very fabric-y. So it kind of gives it a very cool texture. Now in terms of the shape of it, it kind of looks like a big pill or like a big large egg that's kind of oval sized. So it looks kind of funny to be honest, but I personally really like the design. I'll admit initially when I first saw this, I wasn't really impressed with it but then the design kind of really grew on me over time. It doesn't feel big anymore. It doesn't, it feels like an appropriate size. And obviously it's going to accommodate the elite strap. So that's gonna be a really big bonus for people who invested in that. Now, in terms of going outside and actually carrying this outdoors, I found that I had no problem fitting in my bags, especially my carry-on backpack, which I use all the time when I travel between places. Now, obviously we're not traveling that much during the lockdown, but I did find it very easy to put it in my bag and didn't really take up a lot of space. I guess if I were to nitpick, there's kind of one con and I think it's the zipper. The zipper is a little difficult to open at times. Now it doesn't ever get caught, which is something that I'm really scared about zippers, but I'm just a little bit worried about the long-term longevity of the actual zipper. Perhaps that's just me being a little worried. Honestly, it's not the smoothest, but the zipper does work pretty well. Now in terms of the protection, I have to say this is a very solid case. I felt like if it dropped five feet or 10 feet, it would definitely survive a pretty big crash. Now, most importantly, it keeps everything in place. So you don't have to worry about your controllers falling out of the position and kind of hitting your screen, which would scratch it. Or maybe you have an electric charger in there. It's going to keep it in place. So everything is very secure. Nothing's going to move during transit. So as you open it, the first thing you notice is that there's a little compartment for some accessories. And there I'm able to fit my USB-C and a decent cable. And you can fit some other type of accessories if you really want to. That's a really nice, neat addition to this actual case. Now, the major issue I had when I first got this case was it was very unintuitive on how to put the controllers locked into the place. I was actually putting them in the wrong way for the longest time and I did not bother to read the instructions or just look how the controllers are set in place. So if you do get this case, I do recommend just making a very good mental note and practicing a couple times because it was very unintuitive. It's, it's just not very clear on how to put the controllers into there. And you have to be careful because you don't want them to fly out. So after you learn that, after like, you know, maybe you do three or four attempts, you commit that to muscle memory, it becomes really easy. But at first, it's a little difficult. Now, one minor concern is once you put the controllers into the case, I found it a little bit difficult to put the headset into the case. It's a really snug fit. And sometimes I feel like it's rubbing against the foam on my actual headset. That's a little concerning, but so far I haven't had any issues yet. It's just a little snug. Once it goes in and locks into place, it feels really good. It really inspires confidence that it isn't gonna move around and it feels very protected. So overall, how do I feel about using this day to day? Well, I really like being able to travel with the Quest 2 if I'm going from one place to another place for quite some time. And in my carry-on, it doesn't take a lot of space. So it rather is compact and it's quite neat. It just fits in a nice package. And I can be confident that if anything bad happens, if I drop my bag or anything, or someone kicks my bag, I feel like it's gonna be really protected. Now, one of the other use cases that I really like about this case is just for a simple storage. And one of the things I don't like about my Quest 2 laying around unprotected is, one, it's gonna collect dust. Number two, there's these dangling controllers that are just kind of just flopping around everywhere in my place. And it's kind of annoying. Sometimes you can knock them over, or for example, even your headset, maybe it's like on a table, you might just hit it. It's just nice to have everything in one cohesive package, kind of like this, so that, you know, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. And another nice bonus is that this color kind of blends into like kind of white walls. It isn't black, it doesn't have a high contrast. So it kind of just melts into the walls. And I just kind of like being able to store it away. So it's just very nice and tidy because the Quest 2 is composed of three different pieces and those pieces could be scattered around or they could fall down pretty easily. So to answer the main question, is it worth $50? Maybe it's better to go out and buy like a cheap Chinese knockoff on Amazon for maybe half the price. Well, in my opinion, unfortunately, I haven't been able to compare those other types of cases, but I just kept reading reviews that maybe it was designed for the Quest 1, so it may not fit exactly right for the Quest 2. 
I know for sure that, you know, obviously Oculus designed this for the Quest 2. So I have a lot of confidence in their engineering, their design, that it, it is stowed away safely. Those other cases, maybe they're too loose, maybe pieces can fly about, or it can put too much unwanted pressure on the components inside and maybe damage your screen, for example. Now, of course, that's just me speculating. For all I know, it's, you're going to save a lot of money buying the cheap knockoff brands. And if it does work for you, please let me know in the comments down below. So that's it for this video. Please let me know what you guys are going to go. Are you going to buy the official Oculus Quest 2 case? Is it kind of pointless for you? Or are you going to go with like a cheaper knockoff brand? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.